the second one was sent. With the picture on the, uh, the back. See, because they haven't been taught and educated about things like that, they don't believe them, you see. Yeah. And then again, someone's got to tell them for the first time. And, As is clearly portrayed in the notice, here we have Geoffrey the royal township of the 7th century Anglo-Saxon kings of Northumbria. Here the missionary Paulinus, who we've got great interest in, during AD 627, instruct the people in Christianity for 36 days and baptised them in the River Glen close by. So Paulinus was a very industrious and busy evangelist because we can go to a number of places where he preached to many people and baptised them. Sometimes, as we saw in our last visit, to uh, the tune of 3,000 at one time. Now we've been questioning how an area of this kind, which seems so remote, and so sparse of people, where did they all manage to come from? But we've come to the conclusion that 
perhaps during the Black Plague, the Dark Plagues of 1600 and so on, 1666, that, that the agricultural population suffered greatly. In fact, sometimes the whole area was decimated. But it's estimated that at least half of those who worked on the land died during the Great Black Plague. And that could be a feasible reason why uh, it is now so sparse and so uninhabited. Let's have a look at some more details about Geffren. Here we have more details of this Anglo-British settlement and the palace that once stood here. Early farmers built a temple and buried here as did the earliest workers of bronze a thousand years after them. During the Iron Age and Romano-British period the ridge lay under the shadow of Yevering Bell, the greatest of Northumberland's hill forts. And there we have a diagram. The forts were usually circular in nature and were well protected. But by the middle of the 6th century AD, native administration fell under control of an immigrant Anglo-Saxon family ambitious to establish a royal dynasty founded upon military conquest. People expected to see their king exercising royal power at important centres in their kingdom. The court moved between various royal townships where it received tribute and was maintained. But back again to Paulinus. Once when Paulinus came to the king and queen in their royal palace at Geoffrey, he spent 36 days there occupied in the task of preaching and baptizing. This palace was left deserted in the time of the kings who followed Edwin and another was built instead in a place called Macklin or Millfield. And that's reported by Bede in his History of the English Church. For a century this field was a stage for some of the most momentous events in early modern English history. It was the, wide, it was the scene of widespread conversions to Christianity, especially through Bishop Paulinus. Paulinus was a slave who came from Italy. He was sent by Pope Gregory because Pope Gregory, when he came to power, exercised his authority in that direction. And if he, would if he could convert the slaves to Christianity, he often sent them back to the country of their origin with the gospel and to spread the message when they returned home. It also became the temporary home of some of the greatest kings and queens of the day, like Athelfred, Edwin and Athelbury and the saintly Oswald and then his younger brother Oswy. Twice it was fearlessly attacked by the British king or the Welsh king uh, Cadwallon and the Mercian king Penda. From the close of the 7th century AD, all physical trace of the Anglo-Saxon palace, once an imposing presence, had faded away. So the site of Bede's and Geoffrey was lost until its rediscovery through aerial photography in the year 1949. A further detail of the history of Geoffrey, very quickly in conclusion, we have here on the notice board. The main items are that uh, we go back to AD 651 when Penda attacks this kingdom. And then we read on uh, that King Edwin and his Kentish queen uh, rule an area which now extends from Lothian to the north of the Humber in the south. Native Britons are converted to Christianity by the Queen's Bishop Paulinus. That was in 627.